Here is a map of the world. We'll take a closer view of the Mediterranean Sea. In the east of the Mediterranean lies an island, the island of Cyprus. In this relief map of the island, you can see its outstanding physical features. The northern range of mountains, the southern range of mountains, and the central plain between them. If you look from the mountains onto the plain, you get a view like this. And here you get a view of the mountains from the central plain. This town coming into the picture on the left is Nicosia, the capital. On the map, Nicosia is here. The Cyprus is a sunny land. Notice what heavy shadows are cast by the hot sunshine. It's dry in summer, and because of the heat and drought, the land has to be irrigated. Water is drawn from wells by this simple kind of water wheel worked by a donkey. The water takes some time to draw up, but here it comes now. The water runs down little channels like these to water the fields, but people come and fetch water for use at home as well. We'll hold the picture still for a few seconds for you to see the scene better. In winter, when it does rain in Cyprus, it may rain so heavily that the roads flood. These floods are carried off in the towns by deep gutters, like the one behind the man. All the year round, it's warm enough to work out of doors. In this scene, you can see again how strong the sunshine is. The mountains of Cyprus are covered with big trees, mostly pine and cedar trees. Where the forest gets thinner, there is thick undergrowth called maki. This growth is made up of little bushes and dry plants. You can see it round these men cutting down the tree. You can see the maki again on the mountainside behind these two monks. Here is another view of the mountains showing the maki. Notice how in summer the river bed on the right of the picture is quite dry. There is no water flowing under the bridge. The donkeys are bringing in bunches of Christthorn, a typical dry plant that grows in the maki. On these rough plants, the mountain sheep thrive. But the inhabitants of Cyprus also rear goats. But the poor pasture is bad for horses, so the usual beasts of burden are oxen and donkeys. In the towns, oxen are used for drawing the rough carts. The islanders also use oxen for ploughing fields in which they grow grain. When the grain is ripe, it's threshed by spreading it out and driving animals over it which draw heavy threshing boards across it. These threshing boards are studded, as you see, with flints to beat out the grain.
In this picture they are using horses, but notice how undersized they are. These are olive trees. The ripe olives, which are like little green plums, are knocked down with sticks. They are taken to this shed near the field where they are crushed in this crusher turned by a donkey. The crushed olives are then pressed in the press which you see in this picture. Here is the inside of the press with the oil running out of sacks of olives. We'll keep this picture still for you to look. Oranges grow in Cyprus as the climate is warm and not too moist. Besides oranges, mulberry trees grow well in Cyprus and silkworms are fed on them. The cocoons of silkworms are collected and taken to the silk factory which is near the mulberry groves. And here are the cocoons in the factory where the silk will be wound off. The islanders lead a simple out-of-door life as we've already seen. Much of it is primitive. And this is typical of many parts of the Mediterranean. Here is an out-of-door oven using Christ thorn as fuel. The women sit out of doors weaving. Notice the queer prickly pear plants at the back. The village potter makes jars in an open-air workshop. The strong sunlight falls across him as he works. When the jars and bowls are finished, they are taken to be baked in a primitive oven. And are then glazed before being baked again. Cyprus, being in the eastern Mediterranean, is near Turkey, Greece and Asia. It has eastern characteristics rather than western. Palms grow in the island, and notice the rounded eastern dome of the church in the background. Camels, the carriers of the east, are used in Cyprus. This building is a church and is Grecian in architecture. And this old man is a priest of the Greek church. The inhabitants of Cyprus are a mixture of eastern Mediterranean races. Notice the flat roofs in the background, characteristic of dry countries. Some of the men in the picture wear the baggy trousers and fez which most southern and eastern Mediterranean peoples wear, and some have the clothes that we wear in northern Europe. Notice there are no women in the picture. They do not take part in such entertainments, but stay indoors. Cyprus is a very old country and has been long inhabited. This is the remains of a Roman marketplace now overgrown by the Maki. Though an ancient land, it is being modernized, cars run along the dry and dusty mountain roads. Near the towns, the roads are better. Notice the old Roman aqueduct. The Romans too found Cyprus a dry land. As on land, so on sea, Cyprus is using modern transport and bringing itself into line with the modern world.